How do the other writers treat you since you're an outsider and a late bloomer? Uh, I mean, no love, to be real with you. Like, uh, moving to San Francisco at the time I did, I feel that there's a lot of other, uh, out, out, they called them out-of-towners at the time. Like, oh, you're an out-of-towner. So I already got labeled as that. Like, oh, you're an out-of-towner. And I wasn't good at graffiti. My shit was garbage. So I got no love. Like, from all the cool kids, the ones that are fucking, you know, in the scene. I didn't get no love from them. Like, some of them fuck with me just because of who I am and they like me as, as my person, as my being. But as far as, like, graffiti and shit, they weren't, like, suff, come paint with us. None of that. I didn't get none of that. And that was fine. I was cool. I, I didn't mind, like, did it let me have a chip on my shoulder? Like, okay, yeah, for sure. But it wasn't like they were, like, oh, come in. And I also didn't do drugs like that. Like, in, that, in this culture, I'm sorry. That, that's, a, that's a prevalent thing. And, and back then, fools would get lit. They drink, do a bunch of drugs on, you know, that's what, just what it was. So me not doing that already excluded me. Oh, this was not going to be down to fucking, you know, blow lines or and drink. Like that being the biggest thing. Like I never drank. Like I've probably been drunk maybe 10 times my whole life. Like I'm not into it. I think the shit's whack, but to each his own. So that already excluded me even more. So I didn't get love from anybody. I was an out-of-towner. I was a late bloomer. I wasn't good, so no one really wanted to show me love. A, f a few did, and then I linked up with a couple other out-of-towners, and those guys became my brothers, and we would paint together. And a couple of those guys were really good, and I you know, learned from them. While in San Francisco, does your dad find out about your criminal lifestyle, and what does he say to you? Uh, no. I mean, he knew I got in trouble as a kid, you know, like in, in, back home and shit, but he didn't know like the painting. I never, I didn't really talk to my dad like that, even though he showed love to, to come to the house and this and that. We like, it wasn't like I called him every day, like, oh, this is what's going on. This, it wasn't like that. It was just like, he gave me an opportunity to, to get out of the town, come here and start my life. So that's what I did. So he didn't really ask too many questions or, you know, like that. And I didn't. I thought I only got caught in Frisco and went to the towers, like, or A50 Bryant, I mean, maybe once or twice for a couple of days, like, nothing to where, I got fired from my jobs, but as far as, like, my, my parents, find, or, like, dad finding out, like, I wouldn't even call them anyways. Where were you working? Fuck, bro, I had so many goddamn jobs, bro. Jesus. Why did you get fired that time? Can you share? Just not, you go to jail, you don't show up to work oh. when you're on the schedule, so I showed up after I got out, like, yo, my bad, and they're like, yo, we can't be having that. Are you sure I'm here now? Like, no, you're done. Like, fuck, all right. Now, while in San Francisco, you finally get your now infamous name, Suffer. <laughs> How does that come about? Where does that name come from? So, back in the hometown, I had another homie come. Later, my buddy Grainy, that's my brother in life. Um, he's from San Diego. He was into graffiti. He actually moved to my town because he got busted doing a GTA in San Diego. And his dad was like, get the fuck out of here. Go live with your mom. So he moved with his mom. We all clicked. And he knew about graffiti. And he, his name was Suffer. That's what he wrote. What are you writing at this time? I was writing, like I said, Jive or Fival or just some whatever random. And he, his name was Suffer. And I was always like in my head, like, damn, that fucking name is tight. And, uh. And he could tag and shit. He was cool. He knew, he knew what time it was and fucking he knew how to do a fill-in. Even though I didn't pick up on it. I don't know why I didn't. But anyways, uh, so my buddy Grainy is the one that uh, his original name was Suffer. And then whatever, I move away. He actually moved back to San Diego. He's got a family. He don't write no more. And when I decided like, oh, I'm going to start painting in San Francisco. Like for real, I want to really do this. I called him and I was like, hey, dog, fucking, you mind if I write stuff? Right, Suff, bro? I always liked your name, bro. And he's like, fuck yeah, dog. Make that shit famous. And I was like, I got you, bro. And that's how I got the name. What about the name Suffer attracted you to begin with? I don't know. It's just, it's a powerful word. You know what I'm saying? I like the, I just like the word. There's some fools that write and they, you know, you're just like, why the fuck are you writing that word, bro? And then there's, you know, some that just have that, that just rolls off the tongue and it just has that weight to it immediately. And for, for me... That, that name Suffer did that for me. Do you still talk to that other Suffer? My boy Grainy? Yes, if yeah. that's his name. Yeah. What does he say about how far you've taken that name? Oh, he's proud as fuck. He's like, bro, I mean, I've been doing it for so long now, but like, yeah, like, 
as my journey, you know, went through my graffiti career, yeah, he'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Or, you know, I'd send him pics and he's just like, you're a fucking nut, dude, sick. Like, nothing but love and, and props, dude. Like, I, I still talk to him. That's my brother. There's pretty much two people from, you know, since I was like 14, 15 that are still my brothers today that I fuck with. My best friend, he's seen it all. He don't even write graffiti, but he's seen it all. And he's out here with me, so. Suffer is such a great name. Are you always fending off new sufferers that pop up here and there? Do you cross them out? Do you even care? Now I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm solidified with my name. But like there was, or I don't know if there still is, but there was a suffer from Santa Rosa and he would like go to the city. He was like a bus mobber back in the day. But I had been riding suffer in Frisco for maybe like a year and a half. And then I think he maybe got out of jail or juvenile or so, something happened because he wasn't around and I never had seen him. And then all of a sudden my, I was getting crossed out by another sufferer. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like his tags were better than mine at the time for sure. He had obviously been doing it for a while, but I was like, what the fuck? And then, but I'd already been painting for a year. I'm like, I'm not changing my fucking name, bro. You're tripping. So we would go back and forth on spots, but and then he would like leave and disappear for a few years. And then come back, catch a few tags, and disappear. It wasn't like consistent. He wasn't, he was a bus mobber. He really wouldn't hit the streets. So I just kept going. I just kept going, kept going. And I still, to this day, never ran into him. I know other homies have have and got down with him and this and that, but I personally never ran into him. Like, we, he dissed my shit, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we'll run the fade if, we, if that happened, but we're both older now. And I don't even give a fuck.